Welcome to yet another edition of the Phil Taylor Jones Show. Today we're going to be focusing in on something that is tragic. It uh, comes out of Hesperia, California. And I think uh, many of you may have heard about it yesterday. And uh, if you haven't, uh, you'll see why uh, we were urgent in doing this show. I'm Phil Taylor Jones, your host. And uh, let's take a look at what happened in Hesperia at this time. Uh, but seeing that a call went out to the Sheriff's Department, um, the Orange County Sheriff's Department there in Hesperia, about a domestic dispute at a home. And this is where the problem began. Now, it wasn't clear, nor was it uh, stated on telly, as to how the mix-up began. But the Sheriff's deputies ended up at the wrong house. Now, whether it was a dispatcher's faux pas, whether they were talking about whose husband was good and whose check was bad and messed up the address, or whether the officers that responded were not really paying attention and talked about something nonsensical or whatever the case, they ended up at the wrong house. Now, uh, upon arriving at the residence, they saw that it was uh, surrounded by a gate and fence at which time they opened the fence and proceeded on in, they saw two little puppies, little small dogs. And as they proceeded further, they came across Buddy, uh, a husky retriever mix. Well, Buddy, you know, saw these strangers walking around in his yard, so he began to approach. Not in a menacing way, but you know, who are you? Why are you here? You know, are you a friend? And he started barking as that's what dogs do, they bark. Now, instead of finding another way of maybe bracing the dog or holding the dog back with a billy club, I do believe they carry pepper spray on their utility belts. And if Buddy became a little more agitated, they could have pepper sprayed him. No, they pulled out a revolver and shot the dog, killed him dead. The Blackmore family, Deborah, in uh, great specificity, she comes out and she says, uh, you know, why wasn't there more done to save her beloved dog? I don't understand why the cops, when they knew they were at the wrong house, shot my dog. Why didn't they rush him to emergency? Why didn't they? Before I go on, I'd like to say a heartfelt thank you to those law enforcement officers who do have their jobs tight in their hearts, who do want to go out there and do actually protect and serve us every day, much kudos, good on you. Those police officers, those sheriff's deputies, those marshals, those FBI people, those whatever law enforcement are out there doing their job to the best of their ability to keep us safe, I applaud you, I thank you. But to those dirtbags, those gangsters with badges, who will kill anything that moves, up to and including black people and dogs, you bastards. And to you two sheriff's deputies out there in this period, you two bastards, who murdered that woman's dog, murdered, not accidentally killed, you murdered that woman's dog, you should be thrown under a prison. You don't have a right to carry a shield and a, and a, and a, and a, and a gun. You're murderers, pure and simple. You go and get the wrong house, you shoot the woman's dog, and then, oops, we made a mistake. Bye. What a bunch of heartless, disgusting bastards. Dogs' lives matter. And anybody who doesn't want to get behind that because they feel it's too political, then screw you. The Blackmore family is in grief this morning because of their beloved buddy not being there showed video of the dog frolicking and playing with other puppies, uh, with the other puppies here on the uh, residence. Um, I I'm so angry I can't speak because I am an avid dog lover. Yes, I love dogs better than most people because they're honest and pure. They don't want to hurt anybody unless you hurt them or unless they're trained by some idiot human to hurt. They're kind, benevolent creatures who have helped more than they've hurt. And for this poor dog, a beloved family member, 
whose now humans are grieving because of some senseless killing by whom? Gangsters with a badge. You're disgusting. You don't have the right to claim that you protect and serve when you go around killing man's best friend. You bastards. If I had been in that, those bastards' shoes, I would have taken, I guess, department time to do this, but I would have told Deborah Blackmore, I am so sorry that this happened. This was a horrible, horrible mistake that was made on the, depart on the department's behalf. Whether I messed up the address or the dispatcher messed up the address isn't of consequence. You've lost a beloved family member and I can't bring him back. But here's what I'm gonna do. It will not end here. Count on it. I will be back. After my shift is over, I will be back. And I would have found out it was a, a Husky uh, retriever mix. I would have gone to every uh, humane society, shelter, what have you, until I found a puppy that was most like Buddy. Then I would have gone to the um, Pet Smart or whatever pet conglomerate there was and offered, uh, gotten rather, uh, a year's supply, a lifetime supply of food and services, veterinarian services, uh, food, puppy treats, dog toys, whatever. And I would have gone back to Mrs. Blackmore's uh, residence and I would say, I know this can't replace Buddy but it's the best I could do. I can't bring him back, but I can at least offer you a substitute. At least another puppy to, to grow and nurture and love. And I'm so sorry. And whatever a funeral arrangements or whatever you want to have for Buddy, I will pay for that. Because I caused this. The shooter. But no, they don't have any heart. They left the lady grieving to bury a furry loved one while they uh, get this, folks. Uh, the sheriff's department said it reached out to the Blackmore family to offer their apology. Screw your damn apology. You killed my dog. Officials said once deputies found the correct address. An arrest was made. Well, whoop the fucking do. You've killed a dog, but all you're interested in, an innocent dog, but all you're interested in is your damn arrest. That's what we deal with here in the United States of America. Marvin Gaye, iconic, soulful singer of the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, at least I know the 50s, 60s, 70s, early 80s before he lost his life, penned the song, oh, I don't know how many, maybe 30, 40 years ago, it's called uh, Inner City Blues. One of the lines was, trigger happy police, and it still rings true today. They will shoot anything. I mean, to hold off a dog is an, probably an easy thing to do, especially when the dog wasn't aggressive. And surely if he was aggressive, you pull out your pepper spray and give him a shot, surely it's gonna cause the dog some discomfort. But I think after washing and flushing the dog's eyes out, within maybe 30, 45 minutes, he's scampering around happy as a, as a puppy in, in, the, in the playground. But he didn't come back from a bullet. You make a mistake here at the wrong house. Suppose it was a person they shot. Is that your knee-jerk response to shoot at anything that moves? What about your training? Does that just fly out of the window when you're in the real world? What about your training? When you're told to go to an address? You wanna make sure it's the right one. So as I said before, I don't know whether it was a screw up on the dispatcher's part, or these officers talking about whatever. Ooh, you see that cute waitress over there at Burger King? Ooh, she was fine, man. You don't have your mind on your work. Or maybe a cop on the take doing so many crooked deals 
You didn't even hear the address right. And you go and kill Mrs. Blackmore's dog. And then walk off like nothing had been done, you bastards. We live in a crazy world, people. And it gets crazier by the minute. Guard well yourselves. Guard well your dogs. And check in with the exec before we close out the show. You know, I got some things to say about that. I have also an avid dog lover. You know, they're, like you say, pure of heart. They're the most loyal beings on this planet besides my brother. They'll follow you and protect you and and defend you, you know, to to their heart's extent until they can't do it anymore. And that's why that's why I myself, you know, besides my brother, value them more than any other being out there. You know, they're the best thing you can give. They'll they'll love you to death. They, their own affectionate little way. They'll give you little kisses and lick you on the face and just care for you like your best friend. You know, <clears throat> and to take a life of something like that is utterly inexcusable. I saw that poor lady on the TV crying, and it was just heart-wrenching, gut-wrenching to see that. Their whole family's in pain, just losing some, so well, a loved one for no damn reason, just because they're stupid. <clears throat> you know, they saw it, I mean, excuse me, they said it on the news that the reason they shot the dog is because they were worried they were going to get injured. Well, you know, the dog didn't have a choice whether he was going to get injured or not. He got, got killed, but the human has a choice. And unless I'm mistaken, and they bite the person in the femoral artery, artery and it's a little too late to get the ambulance in there in time because they bleed out. Dog bites are usually not fatal. You can, you know, have t care, care taken towards it and, you know, have it bandaged up and heal up and get the shots or whatever you need, but the dog is, is automatically has no choice. You just shoot him because you think you don't want to get injured. That's not the case. You just love to shoot your trigger happy like that song says. And, I checked it, and it was 45 years ago, almost a whole half of a century, 1971, when it came out. Mm -hmm. And it still rings true to this day, and it does make me want to holler the way they do other people's lives and killing black people and killing anybody and anything, you know. And, you know, like you're right, you said they didn't have any kind of heart to do anything beyond just a little apology. The apology doesn't bring the dog back to life, you know. And these people need to not be in those kind of positions. They need to not have have guns if they're going to do something like that. You need to retrain them like some of the people have done in some similar cases with human lives or dog lives. And to not do anything but just apologize is ridiculous. You know how happy that person would have been and, and the tears would have automatically came to her eyes if the little cop, like you say, came there with a the little puppy that looked just like him and <coughs> a box or laundry basket of toys and food and everything. So that would have made her day. You know, it wouldn't have replaced the dog, but it, would have made her feel a lot better about the police department, which she utterly can't stand right now, I assure you. And it's just insane what these cops do nowadays. Like you say, gangsters with badges. And it just, I also want to con condemn, uh, or commend, excuse me, <laughs> I do want to condemn the people that kill the dog, but I want to commend also the officers that do, do a good job mm -hmm. all the time and actually, you know, try to protect people and, and try to save lives, you know. They, like you said, they easily could have just stuck a billy stick out and had him trying to, you know, gnash it with his teeth at the billy stick. Or if he did try to attack you, you know, you have two officers. You can have one pull the dog away and both of them hold him down until they can, you know, get the owner to come out and pull the dog away or something. You don't have to just automatically kill. These people growed up playing Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, all them shooting games, so it's just in their blood to kill things. You know, it's just ridiculous the way society and the people that are supposed to protect you are. It's insane. I also want to uh, <clears throat> express my heartfelt, you know, condolences to the family as well. You shouldn't have to suffer like that and be in all this pain just because of some stupid cop's reaction, some murderer's reaction. And that's all I got to say about that. Well, you're <coughs> absolutely right. Um, and I hope the Blackmore family does seek uh, legal action against this murderous band of, of, of idiots you know it's it's just they should you know some cops do what they do do what they have to do through no other choice because they were trained to do it some cops kill because they love it they love to take lives it's more than evident and they know they can get away with it even further sweetens the pot in many of these incidences where Young black people were murdered, uh, some even shown running away from cops or unarmed, blown away. 
and then get off scot-free by these idiot legislators, uh, or not legislators, but uh, uh, litigators and, 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 and systems and all this. It, it, it's just corrupt. And it's blown over, it's spilled over, and to the point now where they're just blowing dogs away. I mean, Buddy, I'm pretty sure, wasn't a vicious dog. He wasn't raised to be vicious. He was a family pet. And obviously, you can see, uh, as, as my brother alluded to, the, the, the sheer grief in, in Miss Deborah Blackmore's, her demeanor was just, you know, she was shattered. So I'm sure she wasn't going around, you know, training the dog to go for the jugular. It was a family pet. So when they were creeping around in Buddy's yard, Buddy said, well, who are these people? You know, and he probably went up and probably had a little smile on his face and they just pull out a gun, bam, kill the dog. That is ludicrous. It is disgusting. And I hope they go after these people with a vengeance. Thank you so much for joining us for the Phil Taylor Jones Show. We appreciate you and we applaud you um, applauding us. And uh, if you'd like to become a subscriber, you know the button's right there. Give it a little tap and uh, we'll be more than happy to have you aboard. Um, we try to bring you shows of interest, shows that uh, need to be told like this one. This was one that really need to be told. And if you have some ideas out there for shows you'd like to see us do or uh, have some ideas of a show that you'd like to see done, uh, just you know, give us a little notification there and we'll be happy to get that on the air for you. Take care, stay safe, and try to be happy and guard well your pets because they're not safe from anybody, including sheriff's deputies. Take care now. Bye-bye.